All right, next up on our saddle platform series, probably one of my favorites, it's the X-Wing platform from Latitude. Uh, this, I think, is kind of the best of both worlds. This is my actual personal one uh, that I use, and I've really been happy with it. Um, I am interested in trying others, but this one has been kind of the, the hybrid of the Predator XL and maybe the uh, Pursuit that is really lightweight. So this one, I have a lot of experience with. So this one, as it comes, is gonna come in at right at three pounds. Okay, so now they advertise it at two and a half, I believe. And I don't know if that's the buckle. I don't think that buckle's a half pound, uh, but mine does not weigh three and a half pounds. Maybe my scale's up a little bit, or mine does not weigh two and a half pounds. Mine weighs right at three. Still very light though, when you compare it to the Predator, which the Predator's coming in um, at over a pound heavier. It is smaller than the Predator. So again, the Predator XL is our baseline. You can see comparing the two, uh, it is smaller. The area is gonna be smaller that you can stand on, uh, but it does give you more options of where to stand. So it comes with this little cinch buckle. Um, normally I'd say upgrade that to a uh, daisy chain, but for this one to bite the tree really good and for you to be able to uh, stand on the sides like you see here, I think you got to use this cinch buckle instead of the daisy chain. Otherwise, you could shave a little bit of weight off not using this. Um, but the area that you can actually stand on with this one is 65 inches. So um, with the Predator being um, 125 inches, you can see you're losing quite a bit of square inches here on the sides and up here as well. But you do get options of standing on the corners on the sides and on the side over here and just here on the, the middle too. And while it doesn't look like you'd have a ton of room for your feet, uh, if you put your feet up here and get them on the, each side of this actual the, the post, uh, it's, it's very comfortable. Uh, lightweight, comfortable, it's already coated. Uh, you still get a metal sound. So as far as upgrades, I should wrap these with paracord and get you a little less, uh, a little more silent as you're moving. Um, haven't had an issue with, uh, with the metal hitting here. Uh, it doesn't seem to, like where it's gonna actually hit, doesn't seem to make any noise that I've noticed. Um, whereas the Predator, when you close it like this, you get a lot of metal and I'm getting some, but I think it's on this right here. Uh, very, very stiff and, and works really good. Um, if there is a negative, it's going to be that it is a little more complicated to pack because of these giant wings sticking off. So, pull this up. Alright, so once you get it rolled up, uh, I'm using the cruiser pack. You can actually put it on this cruiser here, cinch it down, strap this up, and these side buckles and it's packed in there nice and neat. You do have these that might catch on stuff, they might bump things. I noticed I've had some stuff here and like if you had a metal water canister on the side here, it's gonna hit that as you walk through the woods. That's That can be a negative as well. Using a more traditional pack over here, this Alps pack, um, you might have to get a little creative, but you could come over and under. You could use the gear ties as well. So here you've got two buckles, one coming over the top, one coming under the knee, and we're still So we got one over the top of it, one underneath it, and because it only weighs two pounds or two and a half pounds or three pounds or whatever, um, it's not chugging you back the whole time like the Predator XL does. Uh, so because of its awkward shape, it can be a little tough to carry, but it also gives you a ton of mounting points. And of course, you do need to tie a rope to it so you can get it up the tree with it attached to your saddle. All right, so that's the uh, Latitude X-Wing platform. Uh, I've shot from this one a bunch. Let's get in the tree, do a little practice, a little shooting with it today. So we walk up to our tree, we've got our stick, we've got our bow, uh, we've got the X-Wing in our cruiser pack. Uh, we're gonna have to get up here, we're gonna just go one stick today and then the platform, shoot a few arrows off of it, kind of see how it goes. All right, so we're on our top step here, and what we're looking at now is getting our platform over here to the right side, because we want to be able to shoot over here to the left. That's kind of our strong shot. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, because of the way we've got our X-Wing mounted up, spin her around, unclip her from our pack, 
grab our platform off here. I could have had this clipped onto my um, saddle as well. That probably would have been the easier thing to do. So now, get her mounted to the tree. that right there we want that to be as tight as we can get it and then we're going to cam that down it bites into that good soft bark real easy i like to have it off to this side because then i can step onto my stick if i need to as well but you want to make sure it's not biting into your rope from your tethered all right so we're up in the tree you can see if you put your toes right up against the tree on each side of the actual platform you got pretty good room here you could run them back here side by side uh, but realistically you're more comfortable kind of doing this heels together uh, you do have the ability to spin off to the side you spin off to the side like this it bites really good so like even like this i'm way off the side i can shoot way around this tree and i still got plenty of bite um, if you don't have it cinched down good though it's going to shift the bottom so i can come all the way back over here to this side and i can get on this edge of it and i can shoot all back over here as well so you, you basically got 360 out of this platform um, quick and easy and that's the cool part about it is you can sit here with your feet just on the, the wings of it like this you can set with your feet just outside on the wings you can set with your heels together toes against the tree you can spin to the corners itself all really good easy easy ways to uh hang up here and shoot let's shoot some arrows out of it and see how she shoots shot over here this is kind of your weak side uh, but because i can put my feet on these corners i've got a pretty easy shot to the weak side over here very steady very secure X-wing platform, very sturdy, lightweight, three pounds or less. Um, no complaints at all about this X-wing platform. It's a little pricey. That's my only complaint, I guess. Everything else, I really like about it. All right, to sum up the X-wing platform from Latitude, if you can get over the price of it, it's a great platform. Um, it gives you a lot of angles to shoot at. It bites really good into the tree. Lightweight. Uh, so if you're looking to upgrade. I think this is probably a good one to upgrade to. Um, I can't think of one out in the market right now that I would go, it's it's lighter and it's uh, you know got more options as far as where to shoot from and angles, and I know it's gonna bite into the tree really good. So I've been really impressed with this one. Highly recommend it. Go check it out. If you got a buddy with one, uh, if you got a, st a store you can go into and hang from one, check it out. I think it's worth doing. Um, I know the tethered carbon one weighs about the same as this it's about half the price and uh, so that's something to think about as well so appreciate you guys like subscribe stick around there'll be more thank you